representatives from the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History has discovered that the remains that they unearthed about 53 years ago out of Maryland actually have DNA that spread all over the United States. Well, let me take you back to the 1700s. Well, in the 1700s, you know that black people were enslaved, right? And so some of those enslaved people worked in iron furnaces again in Maryland. And to be exact, it was the Catoctin Mountain Park, right? So they worked in those iron furnaces there. So let's go back to modern history. In 1970, there in uh, that area, they wanted to erect a highway. And so in order to do that, they had to disturb a cemetery where enslaved people were. And so they actually dug up the, the remains of 27 enslaved people, ranging from infants all the way up to 60 years old. And so recently they partnered with 23andMe to run a DNA analysis on them. And they found that the remains of the 27 people there they have uh, traces all the way to Central and West Africa. Okay. And so out of those 27 uh, people, and I should say back then during slavery, they were not considered people. They were considered property, but we gonna call them people. So those 27 people actually have DNA that are connected to over 40,000 people here in the United States and 3,000 of those people are direct descendants of those people. And so uh, people who I guess would use the DNA service 23andMe, they have not been notified yet that they are actually uh, descendants of uh, the enslaved people that were at the Catoctin uh, Iron Furnace, but they said in due time, they will let them know. But I wanna say this, that's actually pretty helpful, right? Because often we hear the argument of, well, how do we know who is actually a descendant of slaves, right? Well, that'll tell you, like we already know, right? But now you got the Smithsonian partnering with 23andMe saying, yeah, there's, you know, some direct uh, contact there uh, between people who are alive here in the United States and of that people uh, who were enslaved so many years ago. And so... You know, if you use 23andMe, I know uh, quite a few people who do, maybe you'll get the notification that some of those people, the 27 people, I should say, that were there in the Catoctin uh, Mountains um, are actually your relatives. So save it because it's gonna come in handy when it comes time for this government to write us a check. So y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetra K Show here on YouTube. Peace.